Our view of downtown Dallas seems mundane, but it actually holds a lot of history. More about it in a bit. Okay. <laughs> no, no body. No body. Let's have a little walk on the streets first. I wish every shot I do ends up as nice as this. This must be a criminal court's building, by the way. Moving on. We weren't really expecting to see this place. John F. Kennedy Memorial. Yes, JFK, one of the very well-known U.S. presidents. It's also very well known that he was assassinated. We didn't know at first, but that seems to be the sixth floor museum. It's where the presumptive assassin Lee Harvey Oswald shot JFK from. More of downtown Dallas. AT&T Discovery District No idea what it is, but it sure looks nice It has a food court nearby where we recharge our tummies though The hot beef noodle soup was good, right? It was good, but the soup just tasted like spicy water <laughs> <laughs> We're now on our way to the first place we actually planned going to The Reunion Tower Didn't get a video of it, but the lines were so long, the ladies needed to rest a bit. <laughs> After a very long wait, the view from above. Not that these views are life changing. But paying $20 to see this must be having to rent the hotel or apartment with the same view price-wise. One of the buildings that looked tiny up from the tower. The next day, downtown seems so quiet. We don't know if it's because of COVID or it's just the holidays. Up next, a presidential library and museum. Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. This is a three-dimensional seal of the President of the United States. President George W. Bush. 
were still back in the Philippines when he was the US president, but we know of him, like most Filipinos do. And the first lady, Laura Bush. Sadly, this could be one of the reasons why almost everybody in the world knew of George Bush. Seeing scenes like this on the news back then, it's unbelievable that something like it could happen. Part of a support beam from the World Trade Center. Many lives were lost at 9-11. Imagine going about your day, and just like a tunnel snap, someone, or someone you know, or even you, gone, along with many others. May it never happen again. Here's something that's a lot less somber. We got to the Oval Office, or a replica of it in Dallas. Are we looking at a future leader? Hmm. We're pretty sure Carl's mind blown seeing this telephone. The Resolute Desk. It was a gift from Queen Victoria to the US President, built from the oak timbers of the HMS Resolute. I didn't find a hidden compartment. Maybe we should ask Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Barney's White House Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Dioramas of the homes of some of the past U.S. presidents. Here's a light-hearted take on the people who held one of the most enormous jobs in the world. was William Howard Taft. K was JFK. The bushes are looking at you. Huh? There. Say bye. 
<laughs> Who wouldn't know of the senior George H.W. Bush?